All right, let's talk plants, huh? Where's my clicker? Here's my clicker. Okay. I didn't know where I was going with it, so I was a filler word. Um, so we have a list of things, and in, in terms of evolution, this would be the oldest. No, and this, this would be the newest. And so you can see that ferns are the oldest plants. They're actually the, outside of like bacteria and stuff. They're the oldest organisms, ferns. And then we have pine trees, which are called gymnosperms. Eventually, it became angiosperms, which is like flowering plants, things like, uh, I don't know, any tree you can think of, um, or any plant in general. And then, I don't know, we don't really need to cover this. I just wanted to throw it in. It's kind of neat. Did we make tomatoes? What? Did we make tomatoes? We made modern tomatoes. So tomatoes of today are not the tomatoes of yesterday, if that makes sense. So 100 years ago, 200 years ago, saw a tomato. T today, uh, hy what's that? What's the word I'm looking for? Not metaphorically, but like. Hypothetically. Hy <laughs> no, not hypothetically. A metaphor. A hyperbole. So today, meaning of the present era. It's also good. So. I remember You remember them? Personification. Personification. Anthropomorphizing. What's the one Bam? Ooh. Oh, bam. That's a good question. All right, we'll bring we'll bring it back in. Anagram is forward and backwards the same. Race car. Um. Okay. Let's talk about vascular plants, shall we? Yeah, I know. Parent. He calls it parenchyma. That sounds more right. You guys have this, correct? Oh, you were gone. Is it on? Is it on video? It was he recording yesterday. I found this has a laser feature, so it's a problem for everybody. I want to go home, Mr. Wagner. I found this has a laser feature, so I've been lasering everybody. Take those feet off. Take your feet off. Oh, yeah. What's wrong with this picture? Sorry, sir. Take it off. Take your feet off. No. Don't be a problem today. Take, just take your feet off the desk. No, take your feet off the desk. Take my socks. Dallin, you get one more shot, buddy. All right, thank you. You got, oh, no, you're still working on it. What do you want? I don't know. It's fun. Why are you not paying attention, Tom? Josh, why are you not writing that down, huh? Down. Uh, sit down. Uh, he has the memory oh of an elephant, Dallin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dallin, sit down. He has the memory of an elephant. Dallin, sit down. Are we going to have a problem here? Okay, let's not make it a problem then. Are you still talking? <laughs> Honestly, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Flint Lockwood. Flint Lockwood. That's, that's the police officer. Flint Lockwood. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Talking monkey. <laughs> Sorry, that was more for my own personal enjoyment than it was for anything else. You don't actually have to do anything, Tom. I was just, uh, I like to mess with my laser. 
Thomas is baby. <laughs> Lee Lockwood. Get out of here. Do you like what I've drawn? See every single green on this table? I've drawn. Hey, I'm drawn. How are we doing, Brindley? Okay. So we've talked about this, correct? Yeah, all right. You want, want to go over it again? Yeah, that's not true. I wrote it. That, that might be. So parenchyma is the most abundant tissue in plants. This is, this is the most. Yeah, once I finish it, I haven't finished it yet, but once I finish it, I'll uh, publish it. Yep. Um, so it's the most abundant tissue in plants. They're tightly packed and spherical in shape. I don't know, I'm just reading off the board. They're elongated with central vacuoles. Um, I, I did a really good job of covering what these do. <laughs> They're involved in metabolic functions, such as making sugars, water, uh, transportation, or water and nutrient storage, and aids in healing damage to the plant. They're most often found in green leaves and stems. So you don't find this in like hardwood or anything like that. Just like uh, shoots, stuff like that. Okay, moving on. Cholenchyma, or cholenchyma, depends who you ask. Cholenchyma. Did we write this down? Cool. Very cool. I think there's a there's a name for that. It's like it's a disorder. There is a name for it, Miss Wagner. It's called autism. Very funny. I didn't say that. You said there's a disorder for that. Yeah, I know, but you can't actually do it. So what am I writing down? Just write it all. Oh, it's a type of tissue. So it's like um. Uh, <laughs> no, it's like skin tissue versus stomach tissue versus heart tissue. That's kind of no. Think of, okay. If you think of muscles, here we go. We'll go like. Um, there's cardiac muscles, and then there's smooth muscles, and then there's skeletal muscles. So that's basically what we're talking about. Three different, all a bunch of different types. Yep, but in plants. And different plants are in the same plant. It'll be the same plant. We'll have all three. What? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Stand there for five minutes looking at the, looking at the what? Never forget. Oh, <laughs> I might. Okay, uh, cholenchyma, or cholenchyma, cholenchyma, whatever you want to call it. Their cell walls are thicker and longer than that of the parenchyma to provide support to the plant. They're irregular in shape, which means what? Yeah, they're not like. Um, they're not normal? No. They're different. They're, so if you think of like a normal cell shape, think of a circle. These ones have a bunch of points and like areas where they come in. I'll show you later. Uh, found in parts that are lengthening because they're able to bend without breaking. So they're very flexible. Last one, the sclerenchyma, 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 whatever you want to call it. Hey, Shawardi, what's your inspiration? I would really love if I fell oh, in the room. That's a good question. <laughs> Not good. It's never been good. Never been good. I've never been a good what's weightlifter. What's your max deadlift, Mr. Wright? I was more of a jumper than a lifter. What's your max deadlift? I could dunk at one point in time. That's that's my that's my oh, athletic that's my athletic. Uh, I'm not saying my max bench. 
Yeah. Not, it's not 105. Come on now. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Prove it, Mr. Wagner. Maybe the way from reference. You no. I I know you're not joking, but I gotta give an exam and I'm afraid I can't do it. (laughs) It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Or you just couldn't do it. We'll never know. Oh, that's not happening. Nobody's going crazy after I max out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that guy is, does look jacked. Um, Scalancrema. This is the tough tissue that is most often found in wood. It's wood. You know, if you think of wood, Scalancrema. They lack cytoplasm and other organelles needed for regular cellular function. They're also found in the veins of leaves, the bundles of roots, and hard coatings on seedlings. Can I carry on? You say in the minutes every five minutes doesn't make me go and put it. Oh, that's what it is. Because the next time it'll be 10 minutes. And 10 minutes is way better than 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I have to notify you guys. Because you guys really think about it. Would you donate me a new pair of Crocs? Sorry. I do not have a pair of Crocs to donate. All right, can I move on? And he's going to be a teacher, so he's going to have no money. True. Very true. Yeah. Don't say it's the joy. No. I do like teaching. I do like teaching. Not anymore. Well, after you do and me, every other kid is just going to be like angels. That's true. So Mr. Maker's going to get out of here, and his life is going to be ten times better. I'm just glad I don't have anybody that, like, gets angry really quickly. That's nice all right moving on here's examples of the tissue types we just talked about what are we doing all right I, I i don't even know i'm not i don't know if i'm supposed to be angry or not okay um this is just parenchyma colonchyma and sclerenchyma t- tissue types Cool? Really cool. All right. And here's it found in uh, common vegetables, fruits. So potatoes are high in parenchyma. They're stor- potatoes are storage devices for plants. Celery, they're very bendable. No, not bendable. This one should be bendable. Pears are not bendable. Uh, Celery is very brittle, I should say. They snap very easy. And then sclerenchyma, pears. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do this a little bit. Twisted, or not twisted towers. Tilted towers. Dropping tilted. To be honest, I haven't uh, played since I, 2019. I think I decided today we're, we're talking about it. <laughs> Quick dub. You better, you better hurry. You got to uh, I'm, Yeah. I'm not. Because he's a loser. I've been playing all the time. No, man. You get him before March 8th. You can get Peter Griffin. Oh, <gasps> Peter Griffin. Yeah, Peter Griffin. For free? Yeah, the, the funny one, you know? Peter Griffin is now on Fortnite. Do I have to no, uh, do something for it? You have to buy the battle pass. No. Don't buy, buy the battle pass. Oh, I have to buy the battle pass. You also have to buy up to him unless you I think my I think my sister already 
bought the battle pass on my account. Oh, yeah. On my account. <laughs> she plays on my account. You can give. Don't nobody gift me the battle pass. I'll be upset if someone gifts me the battle pass. I no, not that bad. Don't spend it. Spend your money elsewhere. Do not. <laughs> nope. I do not live with her. It's funny you're in my thoughts. I was gonna do it, then I'm like, oh no, I could actually like go blind from that. I can't, I can't do that. Oh no, I can actually. Oh, I I know. Et et phone home. No, no, no. No, because because I know how, I knew I knew how to play the game where like my parents thought I was like the good child. So if they're crying, obviously they were in the wrong. There's a fun yeah. There's a fun a funny story my grandpa tells where I was inside playing and my sister was outside. My sister was outside and then eventually she walks inside and she comes back out crying. My grandpa goes, "What'd you do?" Because she he guessed that. She was messing with me when I was playing inside. So, what yeah, I was the golden child. Yeah, I play the victim. I know how to do it. I'm not dumb. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Whatever. Epidermis. It's the outer layer of epithelial cells that cover the plant. It's the epidermis. This is the outer layer. Cuticle. It's the waxy outer wall of the epidermis. That's a good question. I don't know. Um, uh, maple. Maple. Maple tree. <laughs> Ten pick. No. No, no. Let me finish. Okay, let me finish and then we'll talk. Cuticle. It's a wax. It's a waxy outer covering, covering on the wall of the epidermis. It prevents water loss and protects against bacteria. That's the main point. Know this. I am definitely going to put this somewhere. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs>